The morning after what the Taliban is calling a historic victory over foreign invaders after 20 years of war. Wearing U.S. military fatigues and holding American weapons taken from Afghan army depots, Taliban special forces are in control on the tarmac at Kabul International Airport. Destroyed and abandoned aircraft stand in what remains of the NATO base. No Afghans will surrender to force. The way Americans left Afghanistan is a good lesson for the future generation. They were damaged financially. It's a good lesson for everyone else. It's a historic day with no doubts. It's a free country. It's a sovereign country. America was defeated. They could not achieve their targets through military operations. And on behalf of my nation, we want to have good relations with the rest of the world. But there is little, if any, trust on which those good relations can be built, for the time being at least. Taliban leaders say the movement has changed. It promises inclusive governance, women's rights according to the group's own interpretation of Islam. It promises a free media and the right for anyone to leave the country. Afghans, including Taliban supporters, say they want action, not words. Whenever a new government is formed, it has to prove itself to the rest of the world, and we are worried what if the Taliban can't. My children are anxious that they won't be able to go out and live their lives or be involved, maybe in politics and civil society. Crowds of people gather outside Kabul's banks, many withdrawing the last salary they will ever receive from a Western-backed government that no longer exists, a government widely accused of corruption and mismanagement. The challenges are immense, especially when billions of dollars of funding and Afghan cash remains frozen by the West since the Taliban took control. Women here say they want the same opportunities as men, no matter any expected changes to the law. I don't have a problem wearing a burqa as long as there's security and justice. It's just a piece of fabric. They have said that men and women will be separated at work. Well, that's okay too. I will work. The Taliban says give us a chance. They say it is the first day of a new Afghanistan after 20 years of foreign interference and occupation. The wider world may have no choice but to engage with the new leaders of this country if peace and stability is to prevail.